Hey, what's good? I'm Matt Jumper. I'm gonna walk you through how to make this scrolling hero animation in Framer. And of course, no code. This is what it looks like as you scroll, just leveraging some blending modes in the navigation, um, some sticky elements, some fixed backgrounds, and it's pretty much it. It's relatively simple. I'm just gonna break it down step by step for you. So let's get into it. Basically just on your desktop, um, we'll start here, just hit S, uh, to create a stack, drag that across the canvas, and then uh, we'll set this to fixed, and we'll set the width to 100%, and the height to 72, and then we want to center align it and top align it, and then let's make sure that's both anchored to the left and the right, um, and then we'll call this navigation. So inside here, you can hit T for the text tool, um, and then just write the brand name. I've already established these text styles here. Uh, so for the navigation, I have this responsive uh, 24, 22, 18. Um, so if we hit take this and hit Command D, we can duplicate it. Uh, we'll call this menu just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, if you wanted to add a link here to you know add actual menu links or turn it into an overlay to have a, a menu pop up, you could do that. But for now, Let's just leave it as it is. Um, we'll take away this gap and make them kiss. And then we're gonna change the distribution to space between. Um, and you'll see it's now it's kissing the edge of the browser. So we just wanna add right and left padding here. 40 pixels. And that'll be consistent, just like 40 pixels across um, each of the sections. Cool, so we have this. Um, if we set the um, blending mode now on the navigation all the children inside of it will abide by that blending mode so we want to do that difference and that's what gives that navigation the, the legibility and the different backgrounds you'll see this actually turned pink um, that's because uh, this style is dark so we actually want to go light here cool so that's the navigation um, and the last thing, just make the Z index nine. Yes, Z index, not Z index. So now we want to insert the video background. We can just go insert and then type in video, drag this in here. Um, and then again, this we, we want this to be fixed as well. So we'll set the width to 100% relative. And then the height, we're gonna set it to viewport, which is the screen and 100 VH. So this will take up your entire screen and we vertically and, center, vertically and horizontally aligned it uh, to the center. So now it's anchored properly. Um, we can drag this down, call this the hero video. Um, and then we can upload our file. Just a heads up on mobile, like on iOS, if you're like on low power mode, um, the video won't autoplay and it'll have like a play button to preserve the battery that it takes to actually like load that video and play it. Um, so watch out for that. But ideally as well in mobile, that video would either be a lot smaller as well or even uh, just use an image instead. Okay, so we have our video, we have our navigation. Um, now we just wanna make the uh, hero content in the middle. So we'll hit S to create another stack. Um, I'll draw that box. I just copied the text that I want here, but I'm going to hit T um, and then Command V. I'm just pasting the text that I had. Um, so now that we actually have an element in here, you can see that this Z index is not set. So we go to Style, Z index, and set this to 3. Um, it's not 2 because I actually want the text behind the text, the big text to be behind this. Uh, stack so then you can actually interact with the text in the button here so the first thing for the type we want to set this to fixed again so it's sticky the width 100 percent same thing as the video the viewport 100 vh and then scroll up and just align this perfectly um, and then the gap from 10 just make this 16 and then right now the direction of the stack is wide we want to make this tall so when I drop in the button, in, in here, yeah. Um, there's 16 pixels. This is still fixed, so we need to set that to fill and to fit. 
it's not the spacing we want. Call this hero content, and then we're just gonna add 24 pixels as a, a padding safe zone for mobile. Uh, make sure that there's always enough space there. So yeah, this isn't scrollable yet because everything here is basically just fixed. Once we get the big text in there, then we can start to see it um, actually scroll down. Cool, we also want to make sure that the height for the desktop is set to fit and not fixed. Um, now we can make the big type. So to start, we can make the container um, just using the stack, hit S, and then just make sure it's outside of everything. Let's call this big type. Um, we'll set the width to fill and the height to 100 BH. So this will also take up the same space, but we're keeping it at relative. So it could actually scroll with the page. Um, and then the Z index, we're going to set to two. Cool, and then gap, set that to zero. Um, and then we're going to create another stack inside of here. Oops, hit the S, draw that, and then make sure it's under big type. This will be the text. Um, and then we're just gonna fill both vertical and horizontal. And then we're gonna set the uh, gap to zero. We'll set the padding to 40, so now it's actually matching the navigation. Um, and then we can just write out the text. So, I keep grabbing this, hit T. Uh, tennis. I'm going to move this into the text folder or stack. We'll set the width to fill and the height to fit. And then I'm just going to set the style to uh, the H1 here, which we'll get back to shortly. And then I'll duplicate it and call this. Okay. Well, I guess we'll set this index to nine while we're editing it. Um, okay, so we have tennis club. Obviously this is broken, um, so let's fix it. Set that to vertical, and then we want to distribute, again, space between. And then this is left aligned. We want this bottom one right aligned. Um, I'm just gonna go back here. Actually, this is missing that type. I'm just gonna assign this. Cool. Um, yeah, so this is coming together. Still nothing below this to scroll to. Um, so I'm actually gonna turn on this body that I made earlier. Um, I'll set this to visible. So now there's actually stuff to scroll down to. So you'll see as we scroll, everything is working, um, except we just need to make this sticky. Um, and we also want to add a, uh, and we also want to add an animation. So yeah, we'll add an effect on a peer. Um, let's do custom to so go from zero. Scale, we'll keep this at one. Leave everything else as is. And then the Y, we're gonna do 180. Um, and then the transition, um, We'll just go like 264 and then leave mass and delay as they are. So this is gonna be, be coming from the bottom. So I like the way it's animating, but I actually prefer these types of animations when it's coming out of like a hard bottom. Um, so we could leave it like this or we can turn these both into stacks. Um, so command option return on both of them, or right click and hit add stack. Um, the settings are, they already work. Um, so let's call this tennis, this club, just cause I name all my layers. So basically if we take these and yeah, overflow is set to hidden. So now if we hit play, see it's coming out of that hard bottom instead of just kind of floating in space. Cool. So this is working, except we want uh, this to be sticky until this uh, reaches it. So this is the hard part. You ready? Um, 
grab this and change from relative to sticky. And then the top, uh, we had the 40 pixels padding, so we're just gonna add the 40 here. So it basically just doesn't scroll up at all. It just stays where it is. Um, and then you hit play and, um, and then you'll see it should be working, but it's not. And the reason for this is because basically you want the, um, every parent above this sticky uh, layer or stack needs to be overflow visible for any stickiness to work. So you'll see all of these, that's set to visible already, but these two stacks were set to hidden. So now, cool. So now the responsive part, um, like I said before, these are using textiles. So I've already set the large, medium, small breakpoints, which is tablet and, and phone. Um, you can see those values and I've also done it for the navigation, um, as well as this text here. And also before we forget, let's just actually set this hero content back to, did we say three? Oh yes, here, big type, set this back to two. Um, and then we'll actually bring it down here. Just like to order these in the way that they appear, make sure nothing breaks. text yeah so it's looking good um, and then yeah responsively we'll add a breakpoint we'll do tablet um, and we'll do phone uh, we can ignore all this stuff for now let's just quickly clean this up so yeah you'll see the tennis clubs overlapping as well as this navigation needs to be fixed so just make sure that's actually left to right we'll do this 24 to be mobile so tennis, I'm gonna grab the big type and add a bit of padding on the top. Uh, maybe less than that, 24. And then in the bottom, you can call it like say 64 pixels maybe, um, just so the this ends sooner. So I think we're still at 40 actually. Yeah, I think we could use a bit more space actually between these. So bottom, we'll make that 72. We'll go 80. Cool, um, and then last thing, so for accessibility, um, we're just gonna do a couple, couple quick things to wrap this up. Make sure that people using screen readers can actually read this uh, properly, um, as well as Google can scrape it and actually index it uh, for SEO. We're breaking one rule here. Essentially, you don't want two H1s that will not be good for Google, it's not good for anybody. Um, you always want one H1 on the page, and also you want that H1 to be relatively like descriptive and actually inform uh, like from an SEO perspective, like inform what the page is about and uh, include some good keywords in there. So this create your tennis legacy with six love is actually a better H1 than this tennis club. So I'm gonna set this tag to P uh, as well as this one. So now it's not a title. And then we're gonna go to this text and it's still using that P tag or the P style, sorry, but the tag, we can set this to H1. Um, and then this is an H2 and everything else is a P. So from the H tag perspective, uh, this is the, the better way to do it. Yes, that's it. Hopefully you learned something. Um, if you have any requests for another video, please let me know in the comments below. See ya.